my Hebrew brothers and sisters, 12 tribes of Israel scattered all over the earth, welcome back. Just want to say this moment, I want to thank you again for your subscriptions and your likes and your comments. And thank you for your prayers. Praise his holy name. My brothers and my sisters, um, you know, we are, so many things are going on. So many things are going on. This is read of the news where in Alabama, a little town in Alabama, we're having a sweet 16 party. Someone went there and shot it up. Several people are dead. A young man went to ring somebody's bell and he was shot in the head, battling for life. So this whole other thing going on, this, we talk about Jacob's trouble. It's happening, my brothers and my sisters, it's happening, it's happening all over, everywhere you turn. Every, you know what? Every country. Every country has a problem. And guess what? Shouldn't say guess, you know. Affecting our people a great deal. This is to tell you, my brothers and sisters, the urgency. The urgency in spreading the good news. The urgency, it is very urgent, my brothers and sisters, that we tell our Hebrew brothers and sisters scattered all over the earth. Those who have not been awakened, it is our responsibility to show them. The word of you know, said we have to go and compel them to come. No excuse. Compel them to come. Make the words so powerful they can't resist. Let the rock use his word. Use his word, my brothers and sisters, to compare them. It's important. If we don't do it, we're going to lose a generation. Psalm 18, verses 1 through 50, is talking about a song, a victory. And so in verse 7, we stop in verse 7 the last time and we said the earth shook and trembled. We said the foundation and also of the hills moved and were shaken because he was wrong. My brothers and my sisters, if you mess around and try to hurt any of your family members. Think you're hurting them, you're hurting your children. Yahuwah is not going to sit back and take it easy while you run and acting crazy and stupid. You're not going to do that. So we need to learn that the Yahuwah that we serve, my brothers and sisters, he is a loving Yahuwah. But he's not going to sit back and let you do foolishness. And he doesn't get your attention about it. The earth trembled. Trembled. The foundation also of the hills moved 
and were shaken. You see, when something shook, it's tough, hard. Tremble, you know, a little trembling. You know, been an earthquake like in California. From time to time, you just feel a little trembling. And the big sh shake, you know, and they shook. The foundations also up the hills. Can you imagine? The mountainside. And that moved. And was shaken. Because he was wrong. Make afraid. Move. Remove the quake. The, the shake, my brothers and sisters. Shake. I want us to look at the word foundation there in verse 7. Then the earth shook and trembled. They said the foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken because he was wrong. There's, there's a word here. Mosada. <laughs> Mosada is, 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 a, is, a, is a Hebrew word. This is one of the longest words I've seen so far in, in a long time. Mosada. And this is talking about foundation here. Mosada. Mem, Vav, Samek, Dalet, and He, Mosada. And uh, isn't it known feminine gender? This is talk about part of speech. And uh, translation, mo, transliteration, Mosada. And then English phonetic, Mosada, foundation. The definition. Foundation. Mo sada a mo sa. Mo sada a mo sa. You know the feminine. Of, this word come from mo sa. Mo sa. And um, it's basically saying the same thing. It's a foundation. Appoint, take, counsel, establish, to lay the, like you're laying the foundation. Lay for a foundation. You lay for a foundation in Zion. Praise is in the holy name. Um, struck to lay, to ordain, is a, the primitive root to set, uh, literally or figuratively, um, intensive, intensively. Uh, to found uh, reflexively um, to sit down together. That is set up, consult, appoint, take counsel, establish, lay the lay for a foundation, instruct, and um, is to lay or uh, to ordain or uh, to set. Something that is sure, praise his holy name. Then, then, I want to notice there, um, in verse 7, so he laid for a foundation and said the word, Okay, the hills and the um, and the, um, the the mountains were you were trembled. The, the the foundation also uh, the hills were moved and shaken because he was wroth. So look at the word wroth there, and the word wroth here is. Basically, to burn or, or to 
to be kindled with anger. My brothers and sisters, you've seen some angry people around you, right? They pick up stuff, stone and rocks and anything they catch and throwing it. They have gun, they're gonna shoot you. They have any weapon, machete, or so they're gonna to try to cut you. They're gonna they're just angry. Well, Yahweh gets ang ang angry too, but he don't he don't throw machete. <laughs> He don't throw a stone at you. He just speak. He just speak. His angels, his ministering spirits, they'll take care of the rest. Right? He just tell them what to do. They know exactly what is in his mind, what they want to do. And they just go and act the way he said. So, the word here is kara, kara, ra. To burn or to kindle with anger. Kara is, is ket, resh, and hate. Of course, it has its various markations. And this is a verb. It's an action verb, action word, my brother and sister. Kara, kara. To be burned, to burn or be kindled with anger. Be angry, burn, be displeased earnestly. This word is used now. Great word of, of application. So if you will see other words here that may not fit the word burn with anger here, but to fret self, to grieve, to wax hot, be incensed, primitive root compare um kara, to glow or go warm figuratively, usually uh, to blaze up. Or, you know, to blaze up is of anger, zeal, jealousy, be angry, burn, be displeased. My, my brother, my sisters, when we do stuff that does not please Yahweh, Yahweh is displeased with, with our behavior that is negative. Earnestly, fret, self, grieve, and be. Wax hot or be incensed, the kingdom, or to be very wrong. Yes, my brothers and sisters, in verse 8, he said, There went up a smoke out of his nostril, and fire out of his mouth devoured. Holes were kindled by it. Wow. Allah, Allah, is the word, went up, up, Allah, to go up, to ascend, to climb, and based on what is said here, Ain, Lamed, and He, Allah, and this is a verb is a transliteration is Allah. It is Allah A L A H. Spelling is A W L A W Allah. A definitive spelling. And the definition is to climb up or to ascend or, or to go up, to rise up, cause to ascend up. At once break the day up, bring up, cause to burn. And this is a, a primitive root, this word, to ascend. Intrinsic 
intransitively, um, be high or actively mount to use in a great variety of senses, primary and secondary, literally and figuratively, as follows arise up, cause to ascend up at once, break the day, climb. Now to bring up, to cause to burn, to carry up, cast up, to show, climb up, cause to make two, to come up, to cut off, or down, depart, exalt, excel, fall, fetch, and fetch up, get up, make to go away, up. Grow over, increase, lay, leap, levy, um, uh, you will say, um, lift, light, mention, mount up, offer, uh, make to pay, perfect, prefer, out, put. Rise, recover, restore, rise up, scale, set up, shoot forth, up, begin to spring up, stir up, take away, up, work. So the word is used in, in such a uh, you know, large variety of um, you know, a few. Look, 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 our application. Look, look at um, verse 8 and um, look at the word nostril here. Is nostril. They went up. Smoke out of his nostril and fire out of his mouth. The boar coals were kindled by it. The, the, the word nostril here is a Hebrew word off. 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 Off, like a off, like you just like you say a f off, that kind of off, that kind of pronunciation. And um, it's a nostril, our nose, our face, our hunger. And um, it's it's, it, it, it's um, Aleph, I mean, you know, Aleph and, and, and cough, Aleph and cough. And um, the Transliteration of the word is off. Is this part of speech is uh, known masculine? Off spelling, phonetic spelling is off. Nostril and nose, a face, a anger. Angry before, countenance, face, forbearing, forehead. You when know, a person get angry, you know, the forehead, you could see the forehead stop. Crazy, you know, <laughs> moving. Eyebrows start changing, you know, forbearing, long suffering. That's what the word knows from anaf. It come from another Hebrew word, anaf. Um, properly, the nose and nostril, hence the face, and occasionally, you know, person. Also, from the rapid breathing in passion, uh, you know, the person's angry, anger, the four continents, space, forbearing, forehead, suffering, nose, nostril, snout, worthy and wrath. All of this, you know, in that one word saying that. Okay. So, fire came out of his nostril and out of his mouth. Look at the word mouth there, pay, pay, pay is the word. And, and by, by the word pay means mouth, means mouth. We're going to stop here, my brothers and sisters, and we're going to come back. Um, my time is gone for this 
um, session, and so we'll come back. We will ask you to um, be a blessing to someone today, as I always say, okay? And I hope you don't miss hearing me saying that. And you don't, you're not tired of me saying that. Be a blessing to someone today. And walk with the King. Shalom.